So now we have a program that, that basically does a really simple animation of the cat walking across the screen. And it doesn't work too badly, except maybe there's something about that that you don't like. Maybe you want him to not wait 50 or a half a second each time, but wait uh, a quarter of a second each time. Maybe it, it, he doesn't might quite move fast enough for you. Maybe you don't like the fact that he, that he walks such big steps between steps, and rather than moving 50 steps, you'd like to move it 25 steps. And you note that any either of those changes that I want to make, I'm going to move this up so we can see the whole block, either of those changes that I want to make are going to be pretty involved. I'm going to have to change all of these 50 steps blocks, you know, and there's eight of them in there. And if I change these to 25, I not only need to you know, change them to 25, but then I need to copy. It, it just becomes really ugly really fast. If I want to change the weights, it becomes really ugly really fast. And when I'm talking with students, I always say, I hope that kind of bothers you. Any time that you copy and paste over and over again in programming is a sign to you that maybe there's a better way to do it and you should think about it. And so if you really think about what I did, I basically, oops, let me pull this aside, I basically have four of this exact thing. Right? I have four times where I do exactly the same thing of move 50 steps, switch to costume 2, wait half a second. Move 50 steps, switch to costume 1, wait half a second. And so rather than copying and paste and doing it four times, a more efficient way of doing this is to tell the computer, do this four times in a row. And if you're paying attention and looking, you actually can see how we might do that right over here on the left edge of the screen under the control menu. This makes sense it's in the control menu because we're providing some additional control in the program. I want to say do this thing right here some number of times. And so uh, you notice that as I get my, my, my block close to this, First of all, let me drop it, I guess. You'll notice that this block is very different than the other blocks. The blocks we've had before have all been single Lego bricks, in essence. One thing that you snap on top of another. This one is kind of weird. It looks a little bit like uh, a mouth, right? A little face, maybe a Pac-Man that's got a mouth. And you notice that you can either put it around some block of code. So notice that gray shadow that comes up. That as I get close to there, it says, hey, if you drop it here, I want to completely wrap that block of code and of course I don't want to do this ten times I want to do this four times the other thing that you can do as you're bringing out rather than trying to wrap it around the block of code is to simply take the code that you want to put in the mouth and feed it to the to the mouth right and if, as I put it here you'll notice that that gray shadow comes and says hey if you drop right now we're gonna drop all six of these blocks of code together into that mouth. It's the same thing either way, right? And I can now grab this. And what this now allows me to do is to do my places everybody up here at the top. And when I'm ready, four times, move, switch costumes, wait, move, switch costumes, wait. And now I can get the exact same program you've been seeing for the last couple of videos, right? The, or the last couple of minutes at least. The same eight little moves to get the cat. And the nice thing about this is now if I decide that I want to change it, it's much easier to do. If I want to make this only 25 steps between turns, then I can change it to 25 steps. And now he's walking much shorter distances each time. Now, you notice he only made it halfway across the stage. How come? Well, I mean, in the original version, four times I said move 50 and then another 50. That's 100 total steps. 100 steps four times is 400. But now I'm only moving 25 and 25. That's 50 combined. Four times 50 is 200. I only went from the left edge, which was negative 200, to the middle, which is zero. So if I really want to do this to the right edge, I need to change it from repeat four times to repeat eight times. And now we go the whole way across the, the screen. And again, maybe we decide he's waiting a little bit too long between things. I want these to only be 0 0.25 between, uh, between stops. And so now he moves very quickly across the stage. 
And it's much easier to change this because I didn't have to change it all these times. I didn't have to copy and paste over and over again. Heck, this is garbage now. I'm going to throw it away, right? Instead, I only have to change a few things. If I change uh, the distance inside, I might have to change the number of times that it happens, but it's much easier to do this. Now, those of you who are really paying attention might even notice that Realistically, these three blocks of code repeated twice are almost identical, right? The move 25 steps and the wait a quarter of a second is the same no matter what. It's only switching to a specific costume. And the reality is it probably didn't matter whether I switched from costume 2 to costume 1 or costume 1 to costume 2. I really just wanted to change to the next costume. Since this one only has two costumes, no matter which one it is now, I want to change to the opposite one. And that's where you might use this next costume block instead. So instead of saying switch costumes, I might do this. I might say move 25 steps and then no matter what costume I'm in, go to the next one. And you say, well, what happens when I, I mean, that makes sense from costume one to costume two, but what do I do when I'm in costume two? Well, if there were more than two, it would keep moving down the line through the costumes, but when it gets to the last one, it simply says, let's go back to the top and start over again. And so now we can put that in here and we can run same exact thing, right? It's running. Oops, except it stopped in the middle. Why did it stop in the middle now? Well, this makes sense. I used to have a total of 50 movement steps every time the loop ran, every time the repeat block ran. But when I took out this duplication, instead of doing this now twice, I'm only doing it once. And so once again, I need to double this. I need to do this 16 times. 16 times 25, 400. That's the whole way across the screen. And so now, we can very easily put in this walking across the screen. And this is better than glide because we actually have some motion happening while the movement, or sorry, some, some changing of the costumes moving and happening while the motion is happening.